Jackie, are you bad? Are you gonna knock the camera over? Yep, she pushes and she rubs against things and she pushes it over. Whoa, whoa, I forgot. Oh, I, so I do, I do installations in spaces. So to answer your question, how has this space affected my work? I think of it as a giant gallery space or a museum space. Brooklyn is really important. I was born in Brooklyn, though you're told you're not supposed to live where you were born. So I tried like crazy to get away, but it didn't work. So many generations live in Brooklyn, which also makes it exciting. My students who are 25 live there, and I'm 71. It's like 50 decades of artists living there. Another reason why Brooklyn is so important is not just because of the studio space, because of the factories and the things that you get to make things. For access of materials, it's really important. Greenpoint is the waste capital of the city. There's more garbage and shit that comes here than anywhere else. There are pieces here that start with found objects that I find on the street. If you really want good stuff, all you have to do is drive around the streets of Brooklyn at night. And my truck is important because it's my tool. This is less than a block away, and this is a scrapyard that I come to to get material. It's mostly steel, uh, rebar, and beams. If I have big stuff, I just pull my truck in. If I have little stuff, I have like a little red wagon, and I just wheel it back on the red wagon. <laughs> I had one when I was a child. <laughs> I got a little red wagon. My work is really dark, and it sometimes really scares people or puts people off. The subjects are about things that happen in my life personally, or things that are happening outside me in the world that touch me. It's kind of really personal and psychological. So when someone close to me dies, or when a civilization dies, so whether it is my mother, my partner leaving, um, the death of a city, Detroit, the death of my dog, Bingo. It's all the same thing. It's all framed within the fact that this is a specific point in time, and in order for me to move on, I have to acknowledge it, I have to document. Modeling allows me to work with my hands, and fabrication is my skills in welding and casting and things that have to do with tools. I'm really a found object sculptor, and I transform found objects. And that's really the basis of my uh, practice. I hate that word, practice. So I will juxtapose things, even in one piece, so that it's very fluid. If I don't transform an object, it doesn't work.